All right, guys, so this week's video is going to be all about lighters. As you can see, I have quite a few lighters, and the very first thing that we're gonna do, and the reason you probably clicked on this video, we're going to put lighters inside of a deep fryer and see what happens. Before we get started, I feel like it is necessary to say everything that I'm gonna be doing in this video is dangerous and stupid. So I have 26 years experience of being an idiot, so don't know what I'm gonna say. So, I have 26 years of experience being an idiot and doing stupid things, so just leave it to me. Now let's get started. All right guys, you can see that we have come outside for obvious reasons. I don't want oil all over my garage. We have the white table and the deep fryer, and the deep fryer is up to, I don't know if you can see it, 392 degrees, even though it says the max is 375. So better for us. Right here I have two purple lighters. We're going to put them both in there at the same time, see what happens. Both of them do work. So here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh well, okay, that was rather fast. Um, Let's do a couple more. That was actually way faster than I thought and very anticlimactic. So just for fun, let's do three. Three lighters. Three, two, one. All right, well, I guess we're moving on to the next thing. If anybody wants some well-done lighters, I have five of them here. I'll give them to you half off. All right, so it is a very good thing that I keep white tables in stock because I think that table has seen its last day. I know that was very anticlimactic. I thought it would be, I thought there would be more exciting than that. So we're gonna move on to our next experiment. Microwave. We're gonna put lighters in the microwave and see what happens. All right, so obviously this is very straightforward. We have the microwave and we have a lighter. So put this in here. You can see that this microwave has definitely seen better days. We're gonna put the set the lighter up right there in the middle. And then we're gonna go, let's just go one minute to start, and then I'm gonna go hide over here. Three, two, one. I think that is enough. Now, that was the reaction that we wanted. Well, I'm gonna open this with a little bit of caution just in case. <laughs> Ooh, I think there's still some butane in there boiling. That's not what I want. I don't know what to do. Let's go ahead and close this. Um, if there's butane in there, then it could still explode. So that is dangerous. I don't know what to do. I never learned about this in science class. Let's use a broomstick and just hook it out onto the ground. You know what? I don't know if there's fluid in that or not. All right, so I guess I was just being paranoid. <laughs> there's, there's actually no fluid in here. But that was really cool. So let's do that again, but let's do it with like, let's go up to Two lighters. Set these beside each other. I want to close it without knocking that over. All right. One minute again. Three, two, one.
go on. Oh, oh. There's a lot of smoke coming out. That could not have been any more perfect. I guess I'm not a very good firefighter. All right, <laughs> well, that was pretty perfect. All right, so since two lighters is enough to blow open the door in the microwave, and it's starting to fill up with smoke in here, I think we're probably gonna call it quits with the microwave and go on to something else. All right, moving on to our next experiment. Clearly see what I have here is I have a two x four that has a little bit of nano tape on the bottom to stick it to the table. And then I have a lighter that I have stuck to the top of this two x four with duct tape. And then I have this heat gun. Obviously the experiment is I want to see what happens if I put this heat gun underneath of this lighter and just heat it up with pure heat without no flame, mi no microwave, no blowtorch, nothing. I just want to see what happens. So the way this is going to work is I have this heat gun, it's on right now, but it's not, it, the switch is on, but it's not on on. The, it's hooked to an extension cord that goes to the back of the garage, so that way I can have it on here, then I can go to the back of the garage and just plug it in, so that way I start it, I can be away from it whenever I start it. So, let's get started. Alright, three, two, one. Okay, that was actually not very exciting at all. So it looks like what you would, looks like what happened is what you would expect to happen. The, uh, it just kind of heated up and bubbled and then shot out. So, let's try something else. Let's repeat that same thing, but I have a candle. I'm gonna light a candle and put a candle maybe, maybe on top of it, or maybe down here. We'll see if we can catch the flame. We'll take this paint can and we'll just sit this candle right here. So hopefully whenever it, whenever the heat gun makes the thing burst, it'll burst, all the, all the butane will come down and hit the candle, and then it'll be like a fireball. That was, that was pretty much exactly what I wanted. Pretty much did the exact same thing as this one. It just heated up and melted it and then it burst it out and it hit the candle, exploded just like we wanted it to. I was kind of getting worried because I was, I thought maybe that it wasn't gonna just like burst and all rush out. I thought it was just gonna get a tiny little pinhole and just sit here and just burn. But that worked perfect. Let's do it again. Well, that's no good. That one didn't go at all. This one did exactly what I didn't want to have, but it just let everything leak out. I will not be satisfied until I see that again. Was it just a fluke that that one, one time it happened? This time we're going to uh, double up and do two layers. I was just making sure that they were really empty. So I guess that was a fluke. So it just happened to be a fluke on the, uh, the second time on the first time we did it with the candle. So that kind of sucks. I really wanted to see that again. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so right after I turned the camera off, it just hit me. Instead of using the heat gun and then trying to get them to release all the butane into the candle, why not just light the candle and then just put them on top of the candle? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's light this candle. And then I'm going to put this right here and run away. Well, that wasn't cool. 
Yeah, it bursted it, and it, but it blew out the candle. So, all right, I think it's time to bring out the blowtorch. Blowtorch. I have a lighter, block of wood. Then I'm sure you're probably wondering, how are you going to hit this thing with a blowtorch and be a safe distance away? Put my blowtorch on a pole. So that way I can stand all the way back here whenever I light it. And something I don't usually do, I'm going to be wearing safety glasses. All right, so let's cut to the chase. to make. It's, the light was ice cold, as you'd expect. It's just got a little tiny pinhole. So, let's do it again. <laughs> that wasn't what I expected whenever it fell over. The only reason I kept hitting it with the torch was I was hoping that it would, it would shoot off, but I'll take that. All right, I'll do one more. Let's hope this last one's a good one. Close up of this because it looks so cool. All right, right here you can see you can see the hole on this one where it all blew out. And all this plastic is right here, and then you can see the hole on this one, which is right here, and then this whole side's melted. And this one right here, you can see there's a little tiny hole right there. All right, so we've done quite a few tests here in the garage and stuff, you know, with blowtorch, microwave, all that kind of stuff, and we've had some pretty cool reactions. But let's move on to the grand finale. All right, guys, and for our grand finale, I present to you 14 lighters stuck to a 2x4. Why do you have 14 lighters stuck to a 2x4? It's a good question. Well, as you just saw with the blowtorch, what I'm going to do is see how fast I can light off all 14, light, all 14 of these lighters with this blowtorch. Just bang, 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 bang. That's going to be our grand finale. My safety glass is on. these things in water, I guess we'll call it quits there. Who would have thought that would have got out of control? Oh well, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven out of, we got half of them. So, obviously I'm not going to do the other half because I think I've tested my luck enough for the day. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.